Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Viridia here, and today what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm kind of doing something different. Uh, what I've done is um, I asked you on one of the parts of my, uh, one of the Donkey Kong parts to just list some questions that you wanted to be answered, and I'd do a little bit of a QA. and a um, So that's what I'm going to do. I'm picking out some of the people who asked questions, and I'm going to answer them. There weren't very many. What I imagine is some of you didn't uh, didn't actually get uh, didn't watch that part because you weren't into the Donkey Kong LP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to allow you to ask as many questions as you want down below this video, and I will answer them uh, as many of them as I can if there are many at all. So first of all, I'm gonna ask some questions that I keep getting asked repeatedly uh, by random people, and I will uh, just clarify those so that uh, if I get asked them again. I, I can direct them to this video. First of all, am I getting Black Ops for PS3? Yes, I will probably get it eventually. Uh, what you gotta understand is buying Black Ops for PS3 means that I'm gonna be shelling out twelve hundred and twenty dollars for Black Ops. Honestly, I I don't want to do that right now. I bought it for Xbox because that's where my friends play on. You know, um, I, I'm sorry. I'm only you know I'm not a I'm not rich don't have a ton of money to go out and just blow on on the same game twice. Uh, I want to keep my my channel fresh. I want to keep the games that I play for, on my channel fresh. So that money is reserved for, for, for new games that come out. But I will be I will get it eventually because it's not fair for me to uh, to do things on Xbox with people and not do it on PS3. The second question is am I ever going to hold an open lobby? Yes, I'm going to, of course. Um, things have been really hectic for me the past couple weeks, and it's probably going to be a little bit hectic for me the next two weeks, uh, emotionally, and uh, just, it just I'm just drained right now. So, uh, pretty much, I'm gonna. What I'll do is I'm going to be posting a date, and then that'll be the date that you can, you know, try for the open lobby. What I want to try and do is get, you know a whole bunch, a whole 12 people in one, one thing, and we play against each other, and it'll be, it'll be fun. I haven't been, uh, I haven't been playing Black Ops a whole bunch, because, uh, aside from doing the Let's Plays and whatnot, I've just been having to do all kinds of other stuff, uh, which leads me to the second question, am I done with Black Ops? No, but that's not all I do here on this channel, you know, the NGT contest, that was, that was me doing and commenting on my, on my Call of Duty stuff, you know, and people like that a lot, and I do appreciate that, and I will get back to it. However, I've got like three games I'm Let's Playing right now, and um, that as well, which isn't really an excuse, you know, I really do need to, to get in there and, and, uh, and do it, <laughs> get the, uh, get the Black Ops going, because a lot of you subscribe for that reason, and I do appreciate it, uh, and I will continue to do those. Um, but I think it would be a lot more fun to get a lot of you guys together, record that footage, and put it up and commentate on it. Um, my my Black Ops, my Call of Duty skill is lacking. It's hard to go from Vanquish to Donkey Kong, and then go back to Black Ops, then go to play in Kingdom Hearts on the PSP, or something like that, then go back to Donkey Kong. It's hard to swap back and forth, for me anyway, and deal with life. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Um, so the Call of Duty thing, I hope that's explained a little bit. Um, I'm not done with it by any means. One of the main things is that I've been playing a lot of zombies solo. I'm not. I haven't been playing multiplayer. If I'm ever playing um, on Call of Duty, it's zombies uh, because I've fallen in love with zombies. Uh, the highest round I've got to myself right now is like 20 solo, which pisses me off because every time I get to 20, I know I can go way farther. It's just like a little fluke. Because I'm like either talking to somebody else or some bullshit. But anyway, um, that's another thing about my Xbox. My, uh, it, I don't know, there's some kind of glitch that happened one time about probably a year ago. I set it to an offline status so that I wouldn't be bothered while I was watching Netflix. And uh, it got stuck that way. So now even when I turn it on, it still doesn't show when I come online. So you'll never know that I'm on. That sucks. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to the questions. Um, I'm just I'm just shouting them out in the order that I see them. Let's see. Going down the list. Let's see. ANDF54 asks, 
What kind of genres do you hate or like? What are the requirements for a good game? Well, the genres that I like of gaming, which I imagine is what you're talking about, are uh, pretty much every genre except sports. I'm not a huge fan of sports sims, um, and I'm not a huge fan of real-time strategies, RTSs. Never have been. Don't know why. I mean, I really enjoy. I enjoy watching a good Civilization Let's Play. I just, I'm just not very good at it. When it comes to turn-based, I'm a little bit better. Not Civilization. I meant uh, Starcraft. When it comes to games like Civilization, I like those a little bit better because they're more turn-based. But um, you know, and I love watching competitive Starcraft two battles. But I'm just not very good at them. Um, the only sports games that I enjoy are boxing games or fighting games like UFC or something like that and uh, I don't even buy those so uh, genres I like I my favorite probably my favorite genre is uh, it's a it's a three-way tie between uh, RPG platformer and FPS I really enjoy those um, <clears throat> actually the majority of the games that I actually own right now are probably f shooters of some kind um, and what are the requirements for a good game? Well, that, that honestly comes down to the person who's asking the question. So, I mean, it, it, the, it, that's a complete opinion, but what I think makes a, a, an excellent game is a very good mixture of every quality, which is a story, mechanics, um, gameplay, music. I mean, all those things come together to create an amazing game. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that that game is a good game. Um, that I want to take take for instance what I like to call my my uh, my vice, which is uh, <laughs> it's a game that sucks really bad, but you still like it. And that game for me is Castlevania 64. Now it's rated the worst, probably the worst Castlevania game ever made, but I love the thing because when I was a kid, I ended up buying it and uh, I played the crap out of it. Yeah, it was the most frustrating thing I've ever experienced, but I got through it and I continued to play it till I was good enough that I didn't, you know, it wasn't that hard for me anymore. Um, but you know, we've all got those games that everybody else hates, but we love, and we and that goes the same way. There's those games out there that everybody loves that some other people hate. So uh, the requirements to meet a good game, I believe, are that 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 just comes with the person. He then asked, how do magnets work? I'm not going to answer that, because you can look that up online. I, I I think you know how magnets work. Static Devin asks, why do you cuss more than the average American gamer or Let's Player? Now, that's not really an accurate question. I, I doubt I cuss more than a quote-unquote American gamer. As far as an American LPer, yeah, maybe. I don't think I've ever seen an LPer that cusses. Um, why do I cuss so much? I don't know. Um, I really don't. I, I don't know. I just... I always have. Um, always have cussed and probably always will. As far as the LPs go, I'll probably try and tone it down a little bit. Um, I do curse unnecessarily sometimes. But to me, when I get out into the... You know, I don't... When I'm around my family, I don't cuss as much. When I'm Well, when I'm around my immediate family. When I get around my broad family, I don't cuss at all, really. And uh, you know when I'm when I'm at work or something, I wouldn't cuss. So when I come home and I'm let's playing, that's this is this is mine. You know this is this is my time to do what I want to do. And there's nothing better than cursing to let out your frustrations, in my opinion. And of course the phone rings. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um. So back on the cussing deal, I don't know. Yeah, I, when it comes down to, to cursing, I guess that's just how I let out my frustrations on life. Um, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of personal things that go on in my life that are pretty tough to handle for me. So when you can let it out in a in a way that isn't hurtful to others, you know, I mean, I'm not nobody's being forced to watch my stuff. So if cursing offends you. Then uh, you know you could just turn it off. But if it doesn't, then you get to watch me be frustrated and uh, just let it out because th there's no video game that's going to stress me out. There is no th there's no reason that I should have to be stressed out on something that is meant to be fun. 
I may seem like it, but, you know, so sometimes, I, god dang it. Alright, uh, so, sorry about that again, but, uh, yeah, so that's my stance. Sorry, sorry if it offends you, um, you know, that's, that's just me. Um, let's see, do you ever think they'll make another Donkey Kong Country after this? That was asked by Banjo-Kazooie Plush. I don't know. I hope so. This is, this one's fun so far. Alright, moving on down, uh, Let's see, Warren Bros. Videos asks, How long have you been married? I've been married for... Hey, Brittany! How long have we been married? Almost four years? Yeah. Almost four years. So, in April of next year, it will be four years. Um, it's been uh, it's been a ride. I'll tell you that much. It's been uh, it's been not, not what you'd expect. It's a little bit more difficult than you, uh, than you would, could imagine. Warm Brothers actually asked a few questions. He said, would you ever do an LP of the upcoming Zelda Skyward Sword? I doubt it, because, um, honestly, the, the Zelda games, that would make me look like an idiot, because, for some reason, Zelda can stump the shit out of me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know, it just, it, it's really, it really does stump me. A lot of the time, I get stuck, and I... It would just it would just be horrible. I, the, the only way I would do it is if I if I played it through a few times. I would enjoy watching an LP of it though for sure. That would be pretty much pretty freaking cool. Um, to just sit down and and watch one. As a matter of fact, if you guys like Zelda, uh, go ahead and check out Seth Murderous. He's on my sub box um, on my page, and he has done. Uh, Link to the Past, and he also did Ocarina, he's doing uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest right now. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, he had